Hi there, mindful friends. Uh, this is Bob McClure. In this time of uh, worry and anxiety for all of us, uh, I wanted to offer a couple ideas on mindfulness and then introduce uh, the practice of feel rest. Some of you know this practice, but it's something that the more we do it, the more it uh, actually is helpful. So a couple ideas. One way to think about mindfulness is that it's a set of attentional skills that we can train. And the three skills are concentration, which is that ability to pay attention to what we choose to pay attention to that's important. Again, no small skill in a time when automatically our attention goes to worry and anxiety and the negativity bias of the brain. So that ability to concentrate, uh, choose what we want to pay attention to is huge. Second skill is sensory clarity. It's really just tracking our experience in real time. We know when we're seeing, we know when we're hearing, we know the moment with the, that we're feeling something in the body or in the emotions, instead of being lost in thought or worry. And then the last skill is what's called equanimity. It's really that ability to not have to get rid of any experience or hold on to any experience. We can actually make friends with the pleasant and the unpleasant, even though I know that sounds funny, but it is an incredible skill uh, during this time where, again, we're naturally going to be um, experiencing more negative emotions. So what we do in this form of mindfulness practice is we divide the, all of our experience up into three categories, see, hear, and feel. And in the feel rest practice, what we're doing is we're finding some place in the body that is calm or neutral. So we might be aware that the attention immediately goes to when we feel anxious or we have a pain, some area, but there's always some part of the body that is calm or neutral. And that's one way as we rest our attention on that neutral sensation, that object of focus, that we can actually calm both the body and the mind down uh, as we're uh, experiencing more difficult or challenging situations. So let's go ahead and do the practice because after all, mindfulness is only understood if you experience it. So let's begin by assuming a mindfulness posture, which is just uh, straightening the spine, relaxing the jaw, relaxing the shoulders, maybe taking a couple of deep breaths. Just being aware that when you're anxious, the breath is a little more shallow. So you might just focus on the out breath and imagine letting go as you let the air gently flow out. And you can do this practice with your eyes open or closed right now. So bringing your attention into your body and maybe let the attention wander around the body, noticing any sensations particularly the sensations of calm or neutrality. So it could be the feeling of uh, your foot on the ground or your feeling of your foot in the shoe, feeling in a hand. Some people do like the breath, so it could be the out breath as your object of focus. Sometimes for this practice, I use the sensation of my lips touching together just softly holding the lips. Or it could be a sensation of the feeling of the clothing on your skin. So now for just a little bit, explore these different sensations in the body that are calm. And now I'd invite you to pick one sensation as your object of focus and just gently rest your attention on that sensation. Again, it could be the foot, your hand, 
feeling of your breath. Rest your attention. And feel the sensation. And we also have the option of using the silent mental label, and you can use the label rest. And you might make it at a steady pace, at your own pace, but it might sound something like this to you. Rest. 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 And we'll do this practice for about five minutes. And naturally, the attention will wander from that object of focus. When you notice that, just gently and kindly bring your attention back and rest your attention and resume the soft labeling of rest. feeling the body sensation and using the label of rest. And know that every time the attention drifts away, which it will do frequently when we're anxious or worried, every time it drifts away and we bring it back, we're increasing our concentration. Every time we feel the sensation, we're increasing our sensory clarity. And when we're allowing all other experiences to go to the background, we're increasing our equanimity. This is like a bicep curl for the brain. We're training the brain to be present and mindful. Now you might notice if there's a sense of relaxation in, in the whole body. Sometimes as we practice, 
feel rest. Uh, we can feel the whole body being relaxed and the mind and the emotions calming down. And if that's not happening, that's okay. Just keep practicing. In this last minute of the meditation, just begin again. Feel rest. Good work. If your eyes are closed, you might slowly open them, maybe moving the fingers, the arms, just moving around a little bit as you bring your attention back into the room. And remember that these practices are more effective as we do them more often. So you can do feel rest practice, take three to five minutes or more uh, to do it on a daily basis, particularly after you do a particular routine in your day. Or you can do feel rest at any time. We call it a micro hit. Even doing one minute as you're standing or you're walking uh, or, you're, or you're doing some other daily activity, just bring your attention to a calm area, use the label rest, and you're strengthening Again, that bicep curl for the brain. So practice and take good care, and I'll see you next time.